my first question is do you have any predictions about the whole Shayna Baszler and Becky Lynch match and did you happen to see Shayna Baszler's performance in the elimination chamber um i oh, my prediction is that i've been in the ring with Shayna Baszler multiple times and i've also and i've also fought alongside her in war games and Shayna is nothing to play with you know she held the title for I think over two years here. So I, I've never been, I've never been in the ring with, Be- with Becky Lynch. Um, it's going to be a great match. I love the fact that our women's division is so talented that any time two women step in the ring, you never know the outcome and it can go either way. But I have to say, Taylor Baszler is going to come out on top because I've been in the ring with her and I've, ex- I've experienced it and it's going to be rough with Becky. Uh, so I have to go with Taylor Baszler. For that. Awesome. <laughs> okay, my second question is, how competitive is it on Wednesday night now that there's another show on another network? For, for NXT, you know, I feel like we just go out there and we perform. That's, that's all we're focused on. Even before we got on, on the USA Network, NXT, we have been putting on great quality matches. We've been putting on these, these great takeovers that, that fill the show and fill the night and fill the weekend uh, and so we were just excited we found out that we were going to be on the USA Network we were just excited to show the world exactly what we've always been doing. Nothing really changed once we got on the network really like, I mean, once we got on the USA. We just kept doing what we've always done. We were just on a bigger platform but we were just excited to really showcase that to the entire world and really show what NXT was. And that's what we do every single night. We don't change anything. We just go out there and do what we've always done. And our fan base has always been uh, very supportive of us. They, even before we got on the USA Network, they were demanding that, you know, NXT is a third is a third brand. We're right there alongside Raw and SmackDown. And so we don't really think about anything else when we say, like, we go out there and do what we've always done and put on a great show. Okay, and my final question is, uh, people love the fact that you use your hair during your matches. <laughs> How did the whole idea of that come about? Well, I at first it was just uh, just to have it, just to, to have a break, to stand out, to be different. My husband helped me out a lot with that. He, you know, he, he really told me how important it is for you to stand out and be unique. And so I looked at what every single girl was doing on the roster, and I'm like, I'm going to go the the opposite way. And so the braid was something that really stood out. He's the one that encouraged me just to wear it. And then it naturally just progressed into me actually using it. I was in the ring one day, my coach, Sarah Model, asked me, you see if you can hit the girl with your braid? I was like, maybe. And we didn't think anything else of it. And then I was at a match at Riverside with Ruby Riot. And I just decided I was going to try and hit it with my braid. And it made this huge noise that neither I didn't expect, she didn't expect, and we both kind of just paused and looked at each other and had no idea what would happen. The crowd went crazy, and it was just, it was just it from there. And that's when I realized I can, just, I can use this to my advantage, and this can be used as a weapon, and now I'm stuck with his way. And uh, so that's really just kind of how it, it came about, and now it, it, it's a thing, and it's, I'm, I'm kind of stuck with it, and I love it. Thank you so much for your time and hope you come back to India someday. <laughs> oh, I would love to. Thank you. <laughs>